he got traded to the Yankees, uh, and last year went poorly, and they thought, well, maybe the second year. Nope, second year has gone worst. We're doing this about 10 or so days before the trade deadline. Do you, sus- do you think there's any way of fixing this, or does Joey Gallo need to move to another locale between now and 6 p.m. on August 2nd? Well, there are always things you can do. When he- we all know Joey's gifted. We know he's a gold glove, multiple gold glove outfielder. We know he has extraordinary power. We know that he's hit 40 home runs on, you know, in multiple seasons. Um, the skill, the talent, and everything is there. The question is, what do we do to get the execution potential to a higher level, to a normal standard? And in doing so, um, you know, my job is that I, I can't worry about what Cash is going to do or the Yankees are going to do. My job is to communicate with Joey as best we can, go through the dynamic of what he's saying to us, um, get him as much as information as we can so that, you know, he can progress where he's at. I can, I tell players, I, I'm not here to talk about what life would be beyond what uniform you're wearing. And the job is to, you know, we had a nice home run the other day. And, uh, you know, defensively, he's been playing at, at very, very high levels. And he gets on base a lot because he's walking at rates now that he was before. So we, we certainly have things to work on. But as to far as what the Yankees are going to do, I do know that there are a lot of teams that feel that Joey uh, in their market, in their uniform, would be more of the normal than uh, what he is in New York. And, and, uh, but right now, the idea, he's on a winning team. He's on a team that's doing very well. He can be a major contributor to it. And really the job of us is to get him to um, most comfortable and get him back to being at his norm. 